First of all, I appreciate the opportunity to be here today. I did this a few years ago when I presented the traveling man, Pete Fiadaka. That was a special day for him and for me. Today is a special day for a special man too. I'm a Lowell boy, those of you who are familiar with Massachusetts. I'm a Lowell guy and so is Paul Dunnigan. I loved racing, Paul loved racing. I delivered the Lowell Sun, probably not realizing many times that Paul was in the Lowell Sun that I was delivering, for whatever the reason. We both came from an Irish Catholic background and uh, it stops there because he knew and was good friends with the noted actor Ron Jeremy. <laughs> you laugh. You were, you were Ron Jeremy's buddy. Paul Dunnigan, for those that didn't know him, was a character. And I know that everybody here has got a few characters they're familiar with in this sport. You know some, I know some. I got some I'd put up against yours any day. Guys like Al Crockett, Hall of Famer Eddie West, Alan McClure, my radio partner Bruce Cohen. How about these two? Nasty Neil Murray, Bon, bon Rat Bob Devaney, my good buddy Val Asore. There were others, but there was Lowell's very own Paul Dunnigan. Colorful, brash, funny, crazy, a little cocky, off the wall, all described to Paul Dunnigan. He loved to collect things. Believe it or not, Paul was big into baseball cards, and some, even the most avid, hardcore collector would drool over. Paul was flamboyant, with his long white hair and yellow sneakers. You knew who you were looking at from behind and from a distance. It was how I knew it was Paul and not Ronnie Sylvester. <laughs> One thing many might not know is Paul was very much into wrestling, or as we used to say in Lowell, wrestling. He and Bentley Warren enjoyed watching the matches together and both became fans of some guy named Brother Love. That fast became Bentley's nickname for Paul Dunnigan, Brother Love. I could go on and on and on about Paul Dunnigan and so could many that knew Paul in this room, but truly we are here obviously to recognize what he meant to racing and the impact he had on the sport and his beloved Super Modifieds. Paul Dunnigan burst onto the scene as a car runner in 1994, finishing second in the ISMA standings with Bentley Warren. In 1995, he won the ISMA title with Mike Woodway. A second team car with Russ Wood finished runner-up. The following year, it was Wood celebrating with Paul as ISMA champion, and that was Paul's third title. When 2000 rolled around, the Dunnigan team had six consecutive championships. Woodway notched two, Wood three, Joe Gosick, the 2000 title. Two years later, Russ Wood notched the 2002 ISMA championship. Paul also fielded the last big block championship super modified at Star Speedway for Brian Wood. Dunnigan also finished in the runner-up spot in the ISMA point chase for it four times. Paul served as the ISMA board of directors, a member of that board, and uh, was also honored for his loyalty, dedication, and efforts on more than one occasion by that organization. Over the years, he received the Jim Champagne Award, the Jim Sewell Dedication Award, and on several occasions, Dunnigan Racing was honored as Crew of the Year. Behind the scenes, Paul Dunnigan did much more for racing than anyone will ever know, helping ISMA, racetrack owners and promoters, and many others without fanfare. He was many things to many people, a father, a husband, a mentor, a car owner, a leader, a follower, an antique collector, sometimes misunderstood, but always possessing the best of intentions. A man of unique personality, he will never be replaced in the world of super modified racing or in the hearts of the many who knew him as a friend. In closing, Paul left us April of 2004. You'll recall the mention of the bright yellow sneakers. Paul had two pairs. One was for race day, the other was for that day. Paul was laid to rest, wearing his bright yellow sneakers. He went out his way. He was a real character. 
Today, Paul joins another great racing Llewellyan, the legendary Johnny Thompson. It gives me great pleasure to present to the 2015 New England Racing Hall of Fame, our buddy, brother love, Paul Dunnigan. And Paul Dunnigan Jr., Paul's boy, and his son can come on up for acceptance of the award and presentation. It's a real honor to accept this on my dad's behalf. Um, I don't know what else to say. I always tell people that he didn't drink, he didn't smoke, he didn't gamble, but he raced. He absolutely loved racing. You know, that drove my mother nuts. <laughs> Whether you met him once or a hundred times, you never forgot who he was, how he was, the character that he was. And I'm sure along the way, he probably busted all your balls somewhere in between. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you. 